Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Child of Light. In this last episode, we found out a story of Lumeria, and we figured someone needs our help, so now we are on our path to figuring what is going on. So we're gonna push this box. I don't remember where I need to push this box at all. All I know is that I'm pulling and pushing a box. Alright. Oh, we're gonna go down here. Nothing down here. Alright. We're gonna go up here. Oh, ha! I found out the truth. We gotta pull the box all the way over there. Alright. Just gotta do a bunch of, uh, sneaky operations to figure out where you're going. Ah. There we are. Let's grab all that. Hello! jump right into your face have a face full of crotch man Aurora you're so cute alright so we have the uh I don't even know the cricket in this thing again oh god that cricket really shot up on the line that was scary the less the more ah, excuse me the more times they get interrupted the faster their you know ta cast time actually gets because they haven't been able to attack and they just keep getting interrupted so interrupting all the time isn't the best option but it is good one. see look right there well you would have been interrupted but you just die and one hit level up yay oh an antidote and we got more skill points available now we have defend two Reduces damage from attacks by 60% increases speed on the timeline by 70 for the following turn. Oh, a door. Secret door, secret door, secret door, secret door, secret door, secret door. Wow, there sure is some strange factory. How on earth do we travel up high? I wish you could fly. Aurora, illuminate the oculi. Let me try. And bam. There's gonna be a few puzzles like this. There we go. What do you think they roast in these vats? Hopefully not children. Oh no, what if it's cats? So as you probably expect, there's no fall damage. Okay. And yep, da da. Oh, sorry. And now we keep pushing this. Keep on trucking, chuck, chuck, chucking. All right. And then we can get over here. And we'll pull this one this way. Jump out of the way. Now pull it, push or push it this time. Pull and push are different. We will open this lever. Turn, pull. You know, I don't know how words work, alright? And now we wait for it to descend. So let us grab our box again. Ah, oh, really? Alright, sorry, Aurora. <laughs> I didn't mean to make you seem like so weird. Your hair has the weirdest physics in the world, though. In fact, I should more say your hair don't have, doesn't. Oh well, now it has physics. That's how your hair should normally be. All right, push that on the switch, and we're free to go. Wee! Oh wait, oh fucking! What the hell is this? Ah, that's gonna be useful later on. I'll be sure to remember that. Remember! Oh, there's a little spirit up there. Hello, buddy. Oh, God. It's probably gonna put me back on the timeline. The timeline, the attack line, whatever it is. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, I was super far. So yeah, if they actually do the attack animation on you, then they sort of get a surprise. 
It's not really a surprise, but they do get the attack animation on you. You're put way back on the line. Alright, so first off, Starlight on her. <laughs> and that woman is defeated, or creature, I should say. It's not really a woman. We're gonna defend. One. Ah, you did one. Alright, slash. Ten damage. I'll get stronger. Ooh, now it's boosted itself. Can't have that. Be defeated! So yeah, this, this game is really, really charming. The story... Uh, you know, get, the story's the story's freaking simple, but it is beautiful in the way that it's you know uh, integrated within the story, or integrated within the gameplay and the characters you meet. It's definitely something I never really experienced before. And though they call this an indie game, I wouldn't really call it an indie game just because it's well, you know, it's freaking. I am in prison behind the glass. Oh no, we can't have that. Red. Oh god. Glass is shattering. Oh, this is how we change it. Alright, purple. Nucleus. Uh, there, there is no purple. Alright. Ignucleus. Do the green. Green. I am nearly free. Be fast. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm turning it the wrong way. And blue. Who dares challenge the queen of the night? A tiny nothing with locks of red. And welcome to our first boss fight with one of the best boss battle themes I've heard in a while. Ba, ba. This is but a dream. Trust not what you see. Seems real to me. They want us dead. So first off, I'm going to use Starlight against Mr. Horn over here. I don't really want him playing his horn. Jupiter Spear. Ow, that hurt. That wasn't very nice. Defend two. And that's why we don't want him playing his horn, because he will heal. So we're gonna take out Mr. Trumpeteer over here. That hurts. Let's restore that. Or most of it. Or none of it. Ow! I might have to use one of my potions soon. Oh crap. Uh, 100% MP. Eh, uh, just do it. <laughs> Get my MP back. Eight. That's okay, I'm armored! And you're basically armored until your next cast, so that's good. This guy's looking a little haggard. I assume he's gonna be done in a hit or two. Oh, one hit, alright, cool. Now all we have left is this guy. Let's slash him. Send him back on that line. Interrupt him, slow him down. And then we're gonna cast Starlight. Keep him slowed and then let him go. Now he's interrupted again. Slow him still. Oh fuck, I ran out of the thing. Alright, defend. As you can see, defend is casted instantly because it wouldn't make sense if it wasn't. Ba, ba, ba. 
Uh, now he's looking a little haggard. Alright, gotta defend again, because if I don't, I'm just gonna get interrupted anyways. And I'd rather take less damage than more. Flash, and he's defeated. Maybe I should have done hard. Huh. <laughs> oh well. This game is pretty kind in the sense that if you battle every enemy you encounter, you're pretty much fine level wise. Lady, this is Aurora. Madam. Oh, I am ready to wake up now. Child, a vision, take my hand. Once the sun shone upon a land of sequined valleys and peaks of white. And at night, ruined castles glowed with alabaster light. From the stars and the crescent moon, a queen of light ruled this rambling place. Each night she walked the palace alone, her luminosity dawn's own face. Until one night there was no trace, the queen had vanished, and with her the light. Dark resided in its place, a usurper, Umbra, hid from sight. She sent her daughters in her stead, the sun, the stars, and a crescent moon. They pilfered from the sky, extinguished them with the monsoon. Then Umbra's dark creatures conquered the land. Our lives soon snuffed out by a wave of her hand. Well, that's not good. Madam, thank you for the story, but now I wish to wake. So dull my speech, you fell asleep. What I speak of is real, not fake. All around us lies the land of Lumeria. I am afraid this is not a dream, Aurora. The only way is a magic link, a mirror behind the throne. Stolen by Umbra, Queen of the Night, the soul path home is to banish the night. Bring back the stars, the sun, the moon, the light. No, unacceptable. My father waits. The firefly said you'd help me post haste. I have a name, you know. Do not despair, my dear. I created Ignicli Ignic Igniculus to aid you. A bug the size of a pin, no good, I fear. Never shall I recover. The sun, the stars, and the moon. Do not despair, my dear. For the sun and moon seek the highest and the lowest room. First, go back from whence you came, past the altar on which you woke this day. Through a tree of thorns, sharp and tangled, seek help along the way. And what of the stars? How will I reach the skies? Why, child, the answer lies above you. Open your eyes. Ooh, shiny! <laughs> Can I touch it? <laughs> what an incredible surprise! And now I got fairy wings, I can fly! Am I a fairy? I am in flight! Aurora, you are a child of light. Now listen carefully. Keep that charmed crown upon your brow. Never remove it, clear? One last thing before I go. If you should ever despair, my dear. Thank you. What exactly does it do? Sorry, child. I cannot hear you. Goodbye. Wait, but I must know my father. Is he all right? I'm surrounded by endless night. <laughs> So, in case you haven't noticed, all sentences are rhymes. Just like a storybook. Now plays the main music, as we can now fly!
Thank you, narrator, for that wonderful story. Oh my, this is what it feels like to fly. Into the West, Chapter 3. Well, I should say our route is clear. If we f to fly, if we to left fly, the tree of thorns will surely appear. Sir Firefly, to the sky. That's right, Ignicleus. What do I do? Chase my dream as well. Oh, I wonder who this woman is. Well, we're gonna have to find out in the next episode. So. This has been Nintendo PSX, and I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys are still enjoying Child of Light, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Oh! What kind of crap is that? What are you supposed to do about that? Shoot them down with the bow. Like if you gotta watch the ceiling. Yeah. Alright, now three. Three-fourths of a heart. Oh yeah, look at all those guys up there.